Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and I'm in a brand new world, version 1.1 of Minecraft. And I'm here today to show you guys a brand new mod, which is an add-on for Buildcraft called Sneaky Pipes. Uh, this is actually a pretty interesting mod. There's a couple things that are added here. Most of them are pretty neat, and one of them is especially cool. Uh, the creator of this mod is Craft. You should know that name because he's the maker of logistics pipes. So he's adding a separate whole mod here called Sneaky Pipes and adding a couple different things to the game. Let's take a look real quick. We've got the Sneaky Pipe, the Sand Pipe, the Glass Pipe, and the Void Pipe. Let's go through these guys one by one. So the very first pipe to show you guys is the Sand Pipe, crafted with sand and a piece of glass in the middle, of course. Uh, sand pipe is a pretty interesting pipe. It will only connect to other pipes and not chests or machines. So let's demo this pretty simple pipe. Normally, running piping in front of a chest or a machine will have the pipe connect to that item. However, if you run a sand pipe in front of it, you'll notice that the sand pipe avoids touching any chests or machines. Cool. Next up, we've got the glass pipe. Now, those of you familiar with Buildcraft know that standard golden pipes will give a little bit of a speed boost to the items traveling through your pipe system. And you can see it right here, zipping along early on in the process, but even with regular stone pipes, not even cobblestone pipes, but regular stone pipes eventually slow down after a period of time, and that block just loses its speed, and you'll have to place another gold pipe in order to speed it up again. However, Crafted's given us a new pipe called the glass pipe, crafted like so, a little bit expensive, but it's pretty much a pipe that will never lose its speed. So uh, it's a non-friction pipe, and items in transit will constantly move faster and continue their speed through the piping system. Let's try it out. All right, so I've rebuilt this little sneaking system here. Let's send an item through. Look how fast that item is flying through those pipes, and it's not slowing down to, at all. Wow, that thing just flew through there. Look at those guys, zipping along. Nice. Very nice set of pipes there. Way to go, Craft. Alright, next up we've got the Void Pipe. This guy right here. Ink Sack Redstone Glass. What's the Void Pipe do? It's actually a pretty interesting pipe. And at first you might say, why would I want that? But, you know what? If you think about it, it's not a bad idea, honestly. Let's just craft it like so and place it down right here on the end. You can see that uh, it basically looks like it terminates at the end of this pipe, huh? Let's throw some items in there. Where did they go? Uh, void pipes actually take any item that enters it and gets destroyed. So that item is gone. Void pipe has eaten the item and pretty much deleted it from the world. So it's a nice disposal pipe, pretty much saying, hey, I don't want to deal with all this cobblestone that's coming through. Let's say you have a quarry running, you have a ton of cobblestone or dirt, you don't care about it, you only want to filter out the good stuff. Just route all your cobblestone and dirt directly into the void pipe and it gets deleted and you don't have to worry about that stuff anymore. And finally, the star of the mod, something that I can't wait to use. This is seriously an awesome pipe and I'm really looking forward to it. It's called the Sneaky Pipe. Let's take a look. Two wooden transport pipes and some redstone in the middle gets you two Sneaky Pipes. Alright, let's demo basic Minecraft Piping 101. Uh, let's say we have a furnace here, right? And we place some coal in our furnace. So let's find some coal. Place it right in like that. And we wanted to place cobblestone inside so that the coal cooks up and emits on the side. Right? Standard, regular stuff. Now, when you want to do this with Buildcraft, you need to make sure to run your piping into the top for the cobblestone. So let's place this obsidian pipe right like so and run a piece of cobble in there. Oh, the cobble goes into the side, means it's going into the output slot. This is how most machines in Minecraft accept Buildcraft pipes. The side is the output slot. The top is the input slot. And optionally, sometimes the bottom is where the coal goes or something along those lines. So if we want to do this properly, the way to do that would be to take our stone transport pipes and run our tubing like so. Let's try this guy now. All right, Buildcraft 101, you guys all get this. That's how you want to put your cobblestone into your furnace. Cool. Now how do we get our smooth stone out of the furnace? Well, we need a wooden pipe. 
And we're going to need a redstone engine. And we'll probably need a redstone torch as well. And we dig down here. Place our redstone engine. Place our stone transport pipe like so, and a wooden pipe like that. And of course we need a wrench. And tell it that this is the side to pull items out of with your wooden pipe. Cool. And it pulls the smooth stone out. And it won't pull the smooth stone out of the top, which is good, because, you know, we want to make sure this stuff cooks. Looking good so far, right? Right. Now let's see how this changes when we use the sneaky pipe. I'm going to place my sneaky pipe right here on the front of this guy. Give him a good whack with the wrench. Let him know that that's the side that things go on. And I'm going to place down my stone transport pipe like so. And I'm going to right click on the sneaky pipe. Whoa, what's going on here? We've got an interface that says extract orientation and insert orientation. I'm going to set the extract orientation to the side instead of the default. Even though extract by default is side, so they're the same, but just for this purpose I'm going to set side. I'm going to set the insert orientation to top instead of the default. By default, it would be side because this pipe is on the side, but we're changing it to top. And I'm going to take an obsidian transport pipe and throw some cobble in it. Look at that, the cobblestone landed in the top slot because we told it that anything going inside the machine goes in the top. And now that the stone has been cooked, it's getting extracted out of the same pipe it went in because we told it that the extraction orientation is on the side. So pretty much we've told this pipe how to deal with items. Items coming in act as if they've gone in the top of the machine and items coming out act as if they're being pulled from the side of the machine. Now we could change this extract orientation to top and what do you think is going to happen? Let's see. Waiting for the engine pulse. Oh, it pulled from the top, even though it's on the side. Sweet. Now, of course, that's not how you want a furnace to work. So that is the joy of the extraction and insertion orientation that's available within the Sneaky Pipe. Hope you guys enjoyed checking this out. I believe this mod is going to be called Sneaky Pipes, appropriately named. Uh, it's a separate mod from Logistics Pipes, but you can see it adds a couple cool new little things to the game. And Craft, as we all know, is a pretty incredibly smart guy who makes some awesome mods. So definitely show your support and uh, give it a check out. I think the uh, Sneaky Pipe is definitely worth seeing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this mod spotlight. Take it easy.